Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to dive into the ego and how it makes comparisons. What our ego does in its relation to making comparisons creates an addiction. My name is Jared Schoonmaker. This is the Magnetic Men's Club. If you're new here, thank you for tuning in, seeing what we're all about. And if you're a current subscribe member, welcome back. Good to see you. Let's dive in. So the ego is part of the mind that's really concerned with our sense of self, our self image, and really how we relate externally to the world. And it's a part of the mind that compares ourselves with others and it does that to validate and reinforce that I or that sense of self. So if you think about our egos, right, we can't really have a sense of self or who we are unless we compare ourselves to someone else. Make sense? So, if you view yourself tall, it can only be in relation to someone who's short. If you view yourself short, it can only be in relation to somebody who's tall or taller. If you view yourself as successful, it can only be compared or in relation to a failure. And, of course, if you consider yourself or view yourself as a failure can only be in comparison to a success. So along with comparisons, the ego seeks to align our self-perception with society, society's norms, society's expectations, and it does it through conformity. And conformity really is just that act of adjusting our thoughts, our beliefs, and our behaviors to match that of the group or the society so that we fit in. This drive that we all have for conformity to some, to some degree, we all have it, can lead us to compare our achievements, our possessions, our status with those in order to gauge where we stand in relation to that society's hierarchy. So consistency, on the other hand, is about maintaining a stable and predictable self-image. So the ego craves consistency in how we perceive ourselves and how others perceive us. Through comparisons, the ego looks to uphold this consistent self-image by evaluating where we stand in comparison with others over time. And these comparisons serve as a tool for the ego to measure our worth, our success, and our identity based on external factors. Really all this means is our ego is really a self-defense mechanism. The reason why we always make comparison is actually to protect ourselves from negative emotion. Anytime we feel a negative emotion, our ego kicks in and activates to protect us against it. Anytime we feel a negative emotion, the ego kicks in, it activates in order to protect us against them. Before I give you guys an example of this, if you find videos like this helpful, please consider subscribing to the channel. And I want to just talk to you guys a little bit about this brand new brotherhood application that we invented. We actually created it from the ground up. This isn't found anywhere else. I want you to click the link down below. If you're looking to get involved and looking to level up your life and be surrounded by a group of men who are on the same path, same purpose, same mission as you to become the best version of yourself, get into this app, get into this brotherhood. It's filled with positive men doing positive things, making positive moves. I have discussions that you guys can participate within the app that is only for members of the app. And we have a completely whole separate section within the app that you can input your information, create your goals, create your values, and you can create a habit tracking chart in real time so you can track your progress, you can track your goals. This is an amazing tool. It is an introductory offer. It's linked down below. It is a subscription offer so you can cancel it anytime. Consider joining that if you are serious about leveling up your life. With that, let's get back at it. We're gonna talk about breakups. So in this example, we're gonna use a breakup because we've all been through a breakup. They suck. It doesn't matter who broke up with who. We're in this negative emotional mindset. Our ego kicks in and what do we all do? We go to their social media, 
and we start stalking their page. Literally every hour, we're looking for updates on our action. What are they doing? Who are they with? Who is that guy? Who is that girl? It looks like she's at this event. Oh my God, she's having so much fun. She really, she doesn't miss me at all. And you start kicking in with FOMO, fear of missing out. Now, because we're making all of these different comparisons to where she's at, who she's with, all of these people that she's supposedly surrounding herself with, it's probably just a picture that she's in. It doesn't mean she knows anybody in that picture, but our mind and our ego is making comparisons on everything and everyone within that video or within that picture. And because you're making all these comparisons and you might see a really good looking guy in the background, you're starting to compare him to you when there's no evidence they're even together. And you start feeling like more shit. You start feeling like even more of a piece of shit. Oh my God, I let her go. Or you start blaming her, that horror, how could she be with that guy? She might not even be with that guy at all. But your ego is now in full overdrive and it's in full damage control and it's trying to protect you. And it's like, yep, I knew it. This is happening. That's happening. I knew all of this all along. And none of it's based in objective reality. This is how your, your ego creates this addictive pattern within you. So you're feeling like a piece of shit and you're feeling even worse every time you see her post a picture and some guy comments and she thumbs it or gives it a heart. You're like, yep, that's the dude. She's fucking that dude. We've all done this. Girls, you've done this too. You're not getting away from that either, but we all do this. We're always looking for information, any kind of information to confirm that the way that we feel about ourselves. It's kind of validating if you think about it because you feel like a piece of shit, then you go stalk her social media and you see out there that she's perceived to have a lot of fun, but that's just your ego perceiving that. And it reinforces this idea that you're a piece of shit. And so it's sort of validating even though it's painful. That's all I got on this video. When this happens to you, and especially during a breakup or anytime you start having this sense of I, this sense of self, anytime you're using statements of I knew this, I know that, I, 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 recognize that's your ego kicking in. And your ego is always looking to compare something to something else. Take a step back, take a deep breath, try to dis engage with your ego as much as possible because a lot of times, especially in relationships, a lot of times relationships start failing, start getting fractured when somebody's ego is being on the line. They're not recognizing that it's their ego, it's not really them. If you need specific help in this, book a free discovery call with me, the link's down below. And if you have gone through a breakup, and you're looking for answers, you're looking for clarity. In the link down below, I created a 75 page ebook. It's for $19.99. From beginning to end, it's going to answer 99.99% of all your questions on what the breakup means, how to navigate through the breakup, and if you're trying to get him or her back, what you should do and what you should not do in order to get them back. The link is down below. Again, my name is Jared Skamaker. This is the Magnetic Men's Club, and we will talk soon. Thanks.